Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Comageddon. We're all geek culture collide. We're your hosts, I'm Shannon. I'm John Weiss. And uh, today, um, let's go over some, a little bit of news first. Before we forget like we did last week. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're not going to do a separate news in a flash type thing, it's just going to... Do that a lot. No. Um, first things first, DuckTales. Woo! What did you think of the uh, little teaser for? I liked the little teaser. I thought it was kind of cool. And <clears throat> something I didn't think they were going to do, but they may end up doing, I think they're going to stick with the original theme song. Because there wasn't much of an update during that slight bit that we got in the mm -hmm. teaser. So I, I, know you're not, I know you're not happy with the current animation they're going Right. For, I, I prefer the old, anima the old animation style that from 90s and 80s and stuff. I... I like it because they kind of look more like they did in the original comic book series when they had those. Yeah, things. yeah, I understand why they're doing it, but I, I didn't like it with the Mickey Mouse cartoons that they've been doing. It just, I well, just wait and see. Wait and see. Not to mention the what? Have you seen the new Mickey Mouse cartoons? Um, apparently I did one night when I was drunk. And I commented how Mickey Mouse sounds like he got kicked in the nuts repeatedly. But other than that, no. They aren't completely child-friendly. Really? Shows uh, very demented. <laughs> Almost like the artist was on acid when they did it. So Interesting. I'm uh, not really too excited about DuckTales. If they, if they stuck with the old school art style of the 90s, then yeah, but... Mm. Uh, up next, the big one, Spider-Man. Uh, we first got uh, a teaser mm -hmm. the day before it aired, which showed the debut of I'm um, something I'm excited for, the Spider Wings. Yeah, the Spider Wings. There's a meme on Facebook. Have you seen it? Mm. It's got Michael Keaton, a picture of Michael Keaton, oh, so, young, yeah, yeah, yeah. with Batman next to it. And then Michael Keaton old with Vulture, and it says, you either die a bat. Man, you become a Vulture. Yeah, I can see that one. So, I like that. And then, of course, the next day, debut on Jimmy Kimmel, which I missed because <clears> I didn't <throat> watch Jimmy Kimmel and when the hell it came on. So I caught the tail end of Jimmy Kimmel, and I caught missed the damn trailer, so I had to immediately go online because as soon as it aired, like five seconds later, it's online. Mm -hmm. So I did catch both the regular trailer and the international trailer, which showed even more footage. Really? Um, I haven't caught the international. I don't yeah. think so. Um, so we got, of course, got a first look at um, Tom Holland as Spider Man in the new movie. Of course, Michael Keaton as the Vulture. Two people who can possibly be the, the shocker. shocker. Yeah. Um, uh, one of them is wearing kind of the outfit, well, the other one actually had the gauntlet. That... Yeah, so it's kind of. Well, but, but we do know Shocker is supposed to make an appearance in it. And. Um, oh, we also got our first look at Liz Allen. So, and then Donald Glover. Um, Donald Glover's in it, uh, but we don't know who he's playing. We think he might be playing Miles Morales' uncle. Uncle. Yeah. Maybe he's The Prowler. No. No? No. I, mean, I don't think it was The Prowler. He was in the Ultimate Universe, but I think he was The Prowler. Hmm. He, he was a villain, though. I, I could have sworn guy. he was The Prowler. But I don't think so. Um, I don't think so, too. <laughs> I got a beard. I should be saying that. I'm fat. You got me there. Um, what else do we got? Um, don't forget, as if we have to remind you, next Friday, Rogue Star One. Wars Rogue One. So uh, Don't be looking for... I know I didn't uh, upload last week's News in a Flash because we really didn't have much to talk about. So of course, this Sunday we also had the mid-season finale of The Walking Dead. We had the mid-season finale of Arrow, uh, Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow this which, past week. Which I believe we'll go over. Yeah. Uh, and I honestly... And Arrow disappointments. I didn't watch Supergirl. Supergirl was a rerun. Was it? Yeah. Did she ever... So, was Invasion her mid-season finale? Yeah. Really? I believe so, yeah. <laughs> well, then I caught all the mid-season finales for yeah. CW. Um... But I mean, um, so they, they were kind of all except for the we flash. Want, do, we want, do we want to do that now? Yeah, let's go ahead. All right. Since we'll our news in a flash, we'll go in order. Tuesday was flash, but season finale was very. Eh. I like the flash mid-season finale. 
It was t- bringing was... bringing in Jay Garrick. Um, the Mark Hamill Joker esque uh, trickster was cool to see. Yeah. Um, um, Savitar, the God which, of Speed. Which I think they shipped out, you know, cheaped out on that. Um, um, I, I think they did a good job uh, at say giving his origin, his backstory. Yeah, I mean, we find out that Tom Holland is um, is Doctor Alchemy. Tom Holland. Isn't that his name? Tom, no. It's fucking um, Malfoy. Oh, that's Spider Man. Who the fuck? Tom Falco. What the fuck is the guy's name? I can't remember. Is it Tom something? I can't. Fucking Draco Malfoy. <laughs> um, we find out he's Doctor Alchemy, but he's not because he. Dr. Alchemy's orb or stone or whatever possesses him, and, and he has blackouts. And Savitar actually speaks through, through him. him. Um, so that's supposed to be their twist, and it was a horrible twist in my eyes. And then we got the tradition, we got the traditional either someone's died. Did you notice the voice of Savitar sounds like Michael Dorn? Saw. No, I thought it sounded like Michael Dorn. No, it sounds like he sounds like Jigsaw from the Saw movies. I expected him to say, Hey, Flash, do you want to play a game? <laughs> exactly. Do you want to play a game, Flash? I'll race you. <laughs> um, no, it's just, it's just <clears throat> the typical bullshit mid-season yeah. side. Either somebody dies, or somebody's going to die, or there's going to be some type of, something's going to happen. Yeah. And Five months thing, down the road, Iris is supposed to get killed by Samantha. And I, I, I'm only guessing here, but when mid-season, come, when the mid-season returns, it'll probably take place like a month, two months, three months, after this episode, mm-hmm. um, so it's just saying, Wally finally got his Kid Flash costume. He got a Wally and he asked, Flash. "So we're actually going with the Kid Flash and Amber?" Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> Be happy a part of the team, right? Because apparently they that, that was something else too. They flip flopped so quick. Yeah. On his no, you cannot. No, the whole season. No, you can't. No, you can't. He does one thing. Nearly dies, like they thought. And here you go, your Kid Flash. What the fuck? <laughs> That, if anything, they would have been like, no, you're done. And then, like, mid-season, he's secretly running around as Kid Flash. Uh, that would have been better. <coughs> Until yeah. he proves that he's not going to kill himself. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, this, you this you know, Barry does kind of need a sidekick since he's always going out for and getting Jay's help. So. We couldn't stick with uh, the chick. She's from another Earth, though. So keep her. Fuck, he wants to be Flash so bad, send his ass back with <laughs> Wells. <laughs> We've got some damn eye candy on the show. That's true. Besides Iris. Well, then we've got... Anyway, I... I we Killer Frost is eye candy. I like when her in she, Sky when, High. When she's Killer Frost. Well, even when she's not Killer Frost. She was awesome in was Sky High. Was that her in yeah. Sky High? Yeah. And she needs to go back to the red hair. <laughs> um, but I wasn't I wasn't thrilled with the Flash, honestly. I, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. I'll go 6. There were some things I liked. But then we got Arrow. Uh, Arrow, I wasn't too impressed. I barely remember anything from Arrow. <coughs> Arrow was um, very lackluster. Who the hell is the big bad in Arrow? This uh, Prometheus. Prometheus. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You got you had what's her name? Uh, Artemis. Ar- Artemis turn on yeah. them, and um, no, nobody, didn't, nobody died. No, but Mister Terrific's Mr. husband Terrific left, left him. him. Um, Oh, oh, Felicity's yeah. dude died. Yeah. Oh, Ollie killed him. <laughs> and we saw the return of Laurel Lance. That that was a shocker. That actually yeah. surprised me. So I'm thinking... I wonder if she's from another Earth or... Flashpoint. That's how they're going to explain all the dumb shit now. Flashpoint. Do you think maybe she's Prometheus? Maybe. Or... Uh, no, we found who Prometheus was. No, we didn't. Prometheus was the dude... Um, who, That's who they thought he was. Or no, it's his son. That's who they think. Well, he was saying, his, you know, he, the guy was, I don't know. Um, or, here's a theory, crazy theory. Maybe the machine that Ollie was hooked up to fucked with his head so much that she's not really there. He's seeing her, but she's not really there. Maybe. So, I don't know, it was the only... But well, we do need Laurel back. You know, you can't have Green Arrow without Black Canary. Right. You just can't. They're, so, and then we had the one that I was actually had more fun watching than any of them. Legends. Legends of Tomorrow. 
I just really upped its game and improved itself over last season, which again, I liked it last season, but anyway. We got we got to see the Legion of Doom kind of. I'm still not happy with that. This, to me this isn't the Legion of Doom. And we still haven't seen the fucking Darth Vader helmet from headquarters. <laughs> I really want to see. It. We got the damn Justice League Hall of Justice. I want to see the damn ha- Legion of Doom. Do you think League. maybe they're just going to spend this season assembling the Legion of Doom and then next year whenever it comes around for the crossover event that's when that makes sense yeah. I mean, room for improvement yeah so far it's uh, i did like this episode though because anybody watches on from chicago land area and this episode took place in 1920s chicago era with al capone and elliot ness so i love that episode because it took us to fucking chicago in that era you know my mom actually took care of a lady when she was a cna my mom used to take care of al capone's Secretary. Seriously. And Dude, that's like saying, I am your uncle's nephew's nephew's. <laughs> well, see the thing. First room this lady. Roommate. This lady at the time. That's uh, kind of cool, though. This lady, she had so many stories about working for Al Capone. She thought he was just the greatest guy ever. Um, how he used to hold food pantries and he did. feed the homeless and all this. Yeah. She, she would never believe any bad thing about him. Just said he was the sweetest guy in the world. And just he was. He he and he did that to keep up appearance. To, yeah. You know, but uh, no, this episode was great because the Legion of Doom recruited El Capone uh, as part of their their little team. Um, and we got we to got, see Rip Hunter. Kind we of. everyone was going to get to that at the end, but yeah, Rip Hunter. Uh, we found Rip Hunter. See, Except, I kind of missed that part because I was on the toilet. Except he's Steven Spielberg. Not really, Steven. No, he's, he's a film director. Because when we see Rip Hunter, trench coat and all this, you know, fighting uh, space cops or whatever, we hear, God! And then we see it's the real Rip Hunter as a movie director with an Eng- like an actual uh, yeah. English-American accent. So we think Flashpoint fucks something up with him. Uh, the Legion of Doom seems to know about Rip being where he's at. Um, and yeah, I that part. Man. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why uh, that left my head scratching like, yeah. really? I thought maybe they were going to say, oh, we killed him. And they weren't going to bring him back. But no. I, I like the way they kind of brought Captain Cold back to mess with Mick. And then we got Mick who's seen Captain Cold in his head. Um, who's in love with Fixin? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Which is what Captain Cold was giving him shit about throughout the whole episode. Um, and Mick got a kiss. So. Do you think, now do you think that Mick is going to stay with the Legends or do you think he's going to be one that leaves come the end of the season? Uh, I could see him leaving. Do you think he'll leave and I think he'll stay himself, a hero, or I think that's why he's gonna leave. He can't decide. Something's gonna happen. Um, he doesn't want to hurt the team because he loves Vixen, but at the same time, he needs to stay true to himself. But he's so damn confused, he's just gonna leave. Right. So, um, so yeah. we'll be back. Hey video. guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Maybe put a comment below and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to head on over to our Facebook page. Links are in the description below.